This is The Elegant Oxford with your host, Preston Soto. Hey everyone, welcome to my in-depth mirror shine tutorial. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you've been having some trouble achieving a mirror shine. So in this video, I'm going to be narrating here in person. I know I don't do that often, um, but I'm going to be narrating here and showing you how to do a mirror shine step by step, telling you everything you need. And uh, hopefully this will be my most comprehensive and detailed uh, tutorial, so it'll help some of you if you need it, okay? So uh, you're gonna need a couple of things and I'm gonna show you exactly what you need. So let's get started. You'll need isopropyl alcohol and any type is fine. I got this at Walmart. Absolutely any type is fine, as long as it's rubbing alcohol. You'll need an ice cube or cold water. This glass dispenser is from The Hanger Project, and it's really convenient when I'm doing a lot of jobs, but just water and an ice cube is all you'll need. A shining cloth, and there's really no secret, as long as it's 100% cotton, it'll do you fine. Cut up old t-shirts, whatever you'd like, there's really no secret to it, as long as it's clean, and uh, it's tight, and uh, that's all you're really gonna need. So I just cut up old t-shirts, or I go to Walmart and I buy a extra, extra long t-shirt, <laughs> and uh, I cut it up, and it gives me enough to to make a couple of rags. And uh, then you'll need wax polish. Any type is fine. You pick your favorite. Um, I like Saphir, uh, Pat Deluxe, and uh, Mirror Gloss. Those work really well, and I'll use both in this video, but you can use whatever you'd like. Okay, now you're gonna wanna mix some water and some alcohol. Um, don't use a lot, just enough to flavor the water. So about an inch of isopropyl alcohol and then fill the rest with water. If you use too much alcohol, it'll just melt the wax off. So just a little bit, enough to get the concoction going, but not too much. Okay, now I hope this part's obvious, but just be careful when cutting a little, little tiny hole in the cap of the bottle. Uh, just be careful, exercise caution, and don't go cutting yourself. Then add the, the solution and put it over the ice cube, just a tiny bit so it kind of mixes together and gets it all ready. All right, now that you have everything, you have your ice cube with some rubbing alcohol and water, you have your cotton cloth and your wax. You're gonna open your wax tin. Okay, and there it is, the wax. This is perfect for mirror shines and you can use any type you'd like. Uh, so let's see what we can do. First step is I want you to get some wax on your fingers. I'm gonna use a glove so I don't have to keep washing my hands, but just get some wax and start to apply layers over the cap toe, just with your fingers like that. And make sure to get the small areas down here by the welt, okay? So do that and add five to six, seven different layers. Okay, so that's one. Here's two. Three, just make sure to go over it like that. Four. Five. Make sure to really spread it around. Don't leave any gunky areas or any built up areas. Okay, just keep going. Make sure to get these uh, areas down here so it all just really connects and then you get that nice mirror shot. Okay, up here too. Don't forget this top area. People don't realize that if the mirror shine doesn't connect and just glaze over, you really won't get that mirror shine. So make sure to get the wax evenly everywhere, just like that. Okay. Don't worry about going overboard, it's really hard. You won't go overboard unless it's really caked on there with a lot of layers. Okay, just take your time. And this method's really worked for me. It's helped me achieve mirror shines pretty quickly. Okay, don't forget this little toe cap. And then one last good layer, okay. So after all that's done, uh, just wait about five or 10 minutes and let the wax dry and then you're gonna come back to it. All right, now before you start buffing, you're gonna need a nice clean cloth or anything that's 100% cotton. You can cut up in an old shirt, it really doesn't matter. And this is how I do it, okay? So make sure it's long and rectangular like this. Get your two, 
two first fingers like that. Put the cloth over your two fingers. Grab it like, like that in a bunch in the back. Then you just twist so you have a nice cotton cloth around your fingers. And then the, the excess, just wrap it around however you can. Okay, just wrap it and then pull. There you go. And that's gonna be really, really good at buffing and, and achieving that mirror shine. So any cotton cloth will do, cut up old t-shirts and that's just what I do, this is an old t-shirt. Now, if you'd uh, really like to, once the wax is on the cap toe, you can use a hair dryer and just melt those waxes even further so it get, they get into all the nooks and crannies. Um, that's why traditionally, uh, street shiners would light their, their wax on fire. I know that's a popular method some places, and that really melts the wax, really gets it everywhere. Uh, but it's not 100% necessary. As long as you really put it in with your fingers, it should be just fine and you let it dry. So that's just uh, for your information. Okay, once you've given the wax a little bit of time to dry and you're ready to go, remember your fingers wrapped around the cloth. Okay, you're gonna get that alcohol water that you mixed earlier, and you're just gonna put a tiny bit on your fingers. Okay, just like that, so it's a little bit wet, and then you just dab the excess off. You don't want it to be too wet. Okay, just dab it off, tap it lightly. Some people tap it on their hand, it just really doesn't matter, as long as you get a little bit of that excess moisture off. Okay. And uh, the water and the rubbing alcohol it, it, together are gonna really help initially melt the wax, okay? And that's gonna begin the process. So go over, imagine you're shining an eggshell, okay? Not, not too much pressure. Um, that you you know break the wax, but just enough so that you you know have the friction so that it the, the wax melts. So just go back and forth, okay. Moving the shoe. Okay, remember to use your, the tips of your fingers to get in these tiny areas down here, like that. Perfect, just like that. Just go back and forth, and then start touching the ice cube just for a couple of seconds for that really cold water. Start again, back and forth. And then when you need to, touch the wax. You don't have to scrape any wax, that's enough. Just touching it is enough to get that small layer that you need to start buffing, okay? And you can do tiny, tiny circles or back and forth, it really doesn't matter. As you can see, we're already building a mirror shine. It's that simple. And this took me some time to learn. I, I know I'm still learning, I'm not the best shoe shiner in the world. So I've experimented with different methods I've seen on YouTube or listening to the advice of really competent shoe shiners. Um, so it's just it's just a learning process. Have fun, experiment, enjoy shining your shoes, and uh, don't worry about it. Just have the if it's not fun, you're never gonna do it. So you have to enjoy it, and then just go about like that. Okay, it's that simple. I haven't added anything. Just the layers of wax. Wait a 10 minutes, then use that rubbing alcohol. Okay, just back and forth. Touch the ice cube, touch the wax, back and forth, getting those tiny areas here on the side. And once you're really into it, you can just go quickly, just like that. Okay, building up that friction, touching the wax, touching the ice cube. Okay, and if you want, you can even go a little further into the sides over here. Uh, this really doesn't flex, so I think you're, you're okay putting a high shine on here. And then one or two layers up here on the vamp will make a big difference, but just go back and forth and you'll immediately see that mirror shine start to build up, okay? Okay, now once in a while, add a little bit of that alcohol water and it'll really melt whatever waxes aren't melting too well. Just like that, really simple. Just touch the wax and that, you're gonna get enough wax there to, to build another layer. Just like that. And then if you want, you can wait 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Let that wax just dry. Get a little bit of drop of ice water and then buff. It's that simple. And if you're in a hurry and you just want a quick shine, that's sufficient right there. And it only took a, a minute or two. And you can just get out and do it really quickly. And I actually took my time. This was really slow. Usually I'm, you know, going really quick and making sure the, the mirror shine's all done. So there you go. 
pretty quick. So just keep building layers and that's the part that can take a long time. If you really want to build a, a true mirror, it can uh, take you 20 minutes, 30 minutes, <laughs> an hour even, if you really want to get that perfect shine. Um, but I found that uh, Saphir really builds up shines quickly. Uh, as I've been taking orders over the past year and a half, I started out with Kiwi and that worked just fine, but it just took longer to shine. So overall, I'm really impressed uh, with how Saphir has been uh, been shining. And, and this pair was had never been shined before. It was a bare pair. It was sent in for donation and I'm shining them up to send them out um, and, and, and literally just shine them right in this video. There's nothing, nothing's been done before or no preparation, nothing. The, the shoe is just bare and uh, all it took was six layers to start that that mirror shine. Okay, now later if you want, this is mirror gloss. It's it's more of a dry. It's a dry formula. It's not as uh, as wet as Pat Deluxe. You can add that too, and it builds up a, a wax finish pretty a mirror finish pretty quickly. So just start interchanging. Okay, going back and forth. Touch both. All you gotta do is touch the wax. You don't need to scrape it or anything. Just touch it, and that's enough. You're gonna get that little and that little. Uh, you're just gonna get that that sufficient amount to build the next layer. And you touch the ice cube. Make sure there's not too much water, and go back and forth, just like that. And you can also add your breath. And that gives it that uniform moisture over the whole thing. And you can just start going back and forth like that. So I'm gonna put this tutorial, um, this link to this tutorial in all my videos from now on. So if you watch a video and you don't know how to mirror shine, you can just click the link and watch it and hopefully this will help you. So I hope, uh, this is, <laughs> I hope it's been helpful and uh, here's to having many hours of fun mirror shines. Thanks. Now, uh, here are some frequently asked questions that I get. Um, sometimes you'll get a spot that just looks dry and will not shine no matter what you do. That means the leather is oversaturated. That means you use too much water and especially if the shoe had, had brogues, broking or those little tiny holes, water got in and it won't shine. You haven't pulled, it, it'll look terrible. It'll look like you removed the factory finish, but that's not the case. Um, the shoes are just uh, oversaturated. So come back in a couple days, let them dry completely, and you'll never have a problem. The shoes will always shine right back up. Um, another question I get is sometimes the mirror shine just won't develop. Uh, the truth is you have to fill in the pores. Leather is porous because um, it's skin. So you have to fill all the pores, and then once they all fill, it will glass over. So just keep at it. Some pairs glass over quickly. Some take a really, really long time. Uh, the only way to tell is to just go at it. Okay, so if the shoe won't shine, you can always start, you know, from here, get a lot of wax, and then you can put another thicker layer over the whole shoe, just like that, okay? Just like that, and once that thick layer is on there, you should probably wait, I don't know, a minute or two before you get back at it. So you see the wax is just really hazy. I'm just gonna wait 10 seconds. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Just blow on it, okay? And then you get your alcohol water and you dip some on your finger just like that. Let's put it drops evenly everywhere, just like that. Okay, and then you just start buffing again. Sometimes that's necessary if it's not working out for you, and then touch the ice cube. That ice water just helps everything. And just go back and forth, just like that. So you need water to keep, to keep it all kind of lubricated so it doesn't, so the friction isn't too hard and you end up pulling off the wax. And that's why back in the day they used spit, and spit is always available, and if you don't have anything available, you can use spit. I know one shiner who still uses saliva and it works just fine. You can you can do that. Um, just back and forth, just like that. It'll start to glass over. There will be some cuts in the video, but they were just sequential right away. I haven't stood up since I started the video. It's only taken me at this point around. 
eight to ten minutes. And you can see the, the shine is just developing even, even uh, higher. It's all looking really great. <sighs> you can add some breath. Okay, and it's looking a lot better. You can see a lot of the room. You can see me and the camera. It's just a lot of fun to keep going back and forth. So you'll probably change fingers, I mean change rag, uh, the position of the rag two or three times before you're done. But if you want to stop right here, if you're in a hurry or you just want to make your shoes look good, you're totally justified in stopping here. And uh, you'll be fine. Okay. Now a smooth leather works the best. If you have pebbled grain, it'll be a little bit harder. You have to fill in those sections even more. But if any of you have questions, please sound out below. Uh, let me know. Um, I will get back to you. I really want everyone to learn how to mirror shine. It's really fun. It's it's uh, once you know the technique, it's it's easy. It's relatively easy, and you can do it on a lot of shoes, and you'll be really happy. So hopefully, if, you have, if you've been having trouble, uh, this is this tutorial will help you out. Okay. Just keep going at it. This is the bad thing about mirror shines. Once you start, you don't want to stop till it's like glass. I'm getting some lint off this particular cloth, which isn't great. You just gotta be careful. Some cloths act different than others. Okay. Okay, so once you're near the end of your mirror shine, you'll notice there are some micro scratches along the thing. And if you really want it to be like glass, uh, this is how I finish off a mirror shine. You get the alcohol water again. Okay, and you just wet that. Make sure to wet um, the cloth. And then you add a little bit of water and then you kind of buff it. But this time you're gonna add a tiny bit more pressure than normal. Okay, just slightly more. You're kind of buffing it like you're buffing wax off of a car. You need a little bit of pressure. Not too much where, where it's like crazy, just enough where you're kind of buffing those micro scratches out using the water and the rubbing alcohol. And it all just comes together You can do that a couple times back and forth and uh, you'll notice the mirror shine looks really great. So I'm really happy with how this came out. This video literally took me uh, eight to ten minutes. I'm sitting here just one shot. I had to make some cuts because of uh, <laughs> some errors on my behalf. I kept on saying the wrong thing but it was all quick and I hope this is really helpful for you so you all can do a mirror shine. Thanks. And uh, this is what you'll get when you're done. This is a pair I did in another video. But as you can see, once it's all done, the shoes look like glass and everything's perfect. So uh, just take your time, do the best you can. And as you can see, it, it wasn't a very long process. So I hope it all helps. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share for more content in the future. Make sure to check out my other videos as well if you'd like to learn more about shining your shoes. Look for me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at The Elegant Oxford for more. Remember to care for your shoes so that they'll last you for years to come. Always put your best foot forward. The small details matter most, so don't forget to hashtag shine your shoes. I'll see you next time.